So here at Nazarbayev University in the School of Science and Technology, uh, we have a project in the Department of Computational Sciences to use uh, 3D virtual worlds for education. And it's based on work that I have done before. And uh, it's new work, however, for Nazarbayev University, where we expect to make new advances that are specific to Kazakhstan. Uh, so right now, we are just getting started. You can see my colleagues uh, that are uh, working on the building of a virtual 3D replica of Nazarbayev University. And this virtual 3D replica will, be, uh, will have everything you see here, just about. And it will be used for students to be able to interact with various parts of the university in order to learn things not only about the university, but about the subjects they are, they're teaching, they're learning. Okay? So um, what we're doing, what we do is we create um, avatars, which are people, 3D people that are driven by artificial intelligence, and they are actually conversational. So we can talk to them, they can talk to us, and they can contain a lot of knowledge that students may want to gain just by talking to them. And they use our technology to create these avatars and these 3D uh, virtual worlds in order to create this environment that's controllable that uh, where we can control the experience that a student has in learning computer science, for example. Okay? So a student might, for, to give you an example of how you might use this, um, we might give the student a job to do. We might say, um, we want you to learn how to figure out how to build a database for somebody. So what we'll do is we'll send you to a virtual store and we'll ask you to talk to the virtual manager and we'll ask you to talk to the virtual clerk and perhaps a few of the virtual customers. And based on these conversations, you will find out what they do in the store, how they do it, what kind of database they might need, and then you're going to give me as the instructor a complete um, diagram of what the database should contain and what it looks like and so forth. And all of that will be done through interacting with the 3D virtual world and these artificial people who inhabit it. Okay? So there are also things in there called pedagogical agents, which are simply teaching agents. So these virtual teachers can also take deliverables that the students give them Okay. They can examine these products and they can give the students feedback on how well they did on the assignment. So not only can um, the students have this immersive virtual world to do their assignments in, uh, but they also have an environment that we can control. So if we send them to some small grocery store outside of the university, we have no idea what kind of an experience they're going to have. Okay? If we send them to a little grocery store within the university, within our virtual world, we can control everything. We can make the clients not know enough. We can make the clients know the wrong things. And all of these kinds of things that the students would encounter are the things that they will encounter when they're out in the real world with jobs doing this for a living. So we can give them lots of practice in doing lots of different kinds of things in computer science within the virtual world so that when they get into the real world, they'll be much better equipped 